top manufacturers, business owners, technocrats and government officials from across the region are attending the first ever EAC Manufacturers Summit at the Speak Resort Munyonyo. Enterprise East Africa will need that the central governments of the countries of the African community transfer substantial authority, not just to the headquarters of EAC, but to the East African Customs Authority. If you have an efficient working East African Customs Authority, there will be no notion about exporting from Uganda to Kenya. If you are a common territory, there is nothing called exporting. Critical issues that are subject to the ongoing discussions at the two-day summit are non-trade barriers, with the Uganda-Kenya sugar standoff taking center stage. We are a single customs territory now. There cannot be, and there is no such a thing as Ugandan sugar. It's not there. Sugar produced in Uganda is East Africa's sugar. A cross-section of opposition politicians in the neighboring country have within the past week amplified their resistance against the export of Ugandan sugar into Kenya. It is simply working against our efforts to discourage goods from one country to another. Because the narrower sense of looking at it, we look at sugar, but the broader picture looks at all this that we are going to talk about today. We want it to move across borders. Currently, Uganda produces approximately 500,000 metric tons of sugar, above domestic consumption of 360,000 metric tons, with the local manufacturers eyeing the Kenyan market for the surplus sale. That's what I want this manufacturers summit to come up with. So that we change our mindset to looking at Uganda sugar as East African sugar. We'll move on. How many companies died here when we started the common market? Sugar com soap companies, oil companies gave away to Kenyan companies. But we knew it was an integration and we moved on. With the theme by East Africa Build East Africa, other critical issues on the table at this Kampala summit are that of innovation, more investments in technology and standards. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.